distractions aside, what will this workout actually prove? Because I feel like people already – like, he already has the physical skills. People know he can throw, he can run. But when you're playing quarterback and you haven't played for, like, three years, isn't, like, reading defenses and reacting to that kind of stuff, isn't that way more important than seeing him, like, throw slants and stuff like that? Well, I think the big thing here is this is obviously happening for the timing of the Greg Roman, Lamar Jackson success story. Right, right. It's very interesting, right? Because people are like, well, I mean, our offense is kind of built – to perform that way we're seeing a lot of success with baltimore i don't think colin kaepernick at 30 some years old is anywhere near what lamar jackson is but if he has near the same qualities same traits same athletic abilities maybe we can do that offense to an extent so i don't know how you get a good read on an rpo that's what i mean i don't know how you get a good read on something like that but they're going to want to see him run see if he's in shape they're going to put him through a workout that is going to be grueling. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to be one to see if he has any cardio, if he is in game shape at all. He said he's trained three years for it. They're going to prove it. I've seen teams put players through workouts. <sighs> they just want to see if they can make it or not. There's a lot of like, oh, okay, let's see if you can play. And it's just, all right, we'll put you through a drill that's just sprint, 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 rest. Okay, get a breath. You see guys just like inhale. <sighs> Like hands on the hips thing, and they're like, all right, we're back up, let's go. And it's strictly to see if they could play this week if it had to happen. Right. Is this guy anywhere near what is it? So he's gonna have to hit a cardio. There's gonna be a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of drills that are strictly just to see if he's because you gotta remember, just like the combine, the forty, is it to see your speed? Yes, one hundred percent. But it's also your quick twitch, your get off, they measure your first ten, three cone drill. How how quick can he flip his hips? How much can he get around? All these drills have other things and vertical jump, yes, that's great, but how explosive is this guy? That's all it is. They're looking at their hips. Whenever they do the back pedal turn thing, they're like, All right, how stiff is this guy? All those tests might have one outcome for the most media people, but all the scouts and people are looking at it for a deeper thing. They're like, oh, he's tightening his hips, probably not going to be able to do this. Oh, that guy runs straight up. Does that mean his hammies are tight or his back is tight? Is that like there are people diving into all the film? That's going to happen for this Kaepernick workout. They're going to have him do one thing, say, oh, well, this is happening. You're going to have him do another thing, oh, this is happening. And I think a big part of it is going to be cardio. Even deeper than that, do you think they're going to look at the human element of it all, too, with him, like his body language, the way he responds to what they're asking him to do? If he turns down and, no, I'm not doing that, like, do you think that's going to play a factor? Well, he's, he's a quarterback, right? Quarterbacks have a certain swag about them to begin with, right? I mean, that's just what quarterbacks have. He's a, a guy who's taking a team to a Super Bowl. He's had success in the NFL. Now he's a big-time person. The humility will be something, I think, that will be looked for. But I'll be excited to see if any NFL quarterback who's had the success that he's had, had the rise that he has, how they would react in that situation. I don't know. How would I react in a situation if I was going back to work out right now? And I've done far less in, in the world than Colin Kaepernick. If I have some slappy telling me to do this, do that, no. Well, why don't you go push? Why don't you go push some paper, pal? <laughs> Just let me kick the ball here. So it would be hard because it's a full. This is a, an interview. This is an interview. So every answer you give is important. The way you treat the secretary at the beginning is important. The way you carry yourself, the way you do everything is important. And I assume at some point all these tapes are going to come out. So I know there's like a rare situation, but uh, like who runs this uh, workout? Uh, it depends on so like, do like the G, like the uh, people who's like uh, run the the practice or whatever. No, it's just like pro days. So there'll be coaches from different teams that normally like a D line coach from uh, let's say the Bengals will run or like the special teams coach from the Bengals runs the kicking workout at the combine. I wasn't invited, but from what I've uh, watched, unbelievable by the way, <laughs> unbelievable that I wasn't invited. <laughs> I watched that. Done good. Yeah, both positions. I would have been, uh, but. You're up for an award in college football. I played in the Senior Bowl. I think I was the only player in the entire Senior Bowl that didn't get invited to the combine the year I was there. Interesting. It's just my life. Hey, bon Jovi. that makes us tougher. Uh, that makes us be able to do a show from the back of a box truck in the middle of the Hill District in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Grit. Perseverance. Anyways, the special teams coach from the Bengals runs the kicking side, and all the other coaches kind of watch. It's like an agreed-upon thing. Gotcha. So, like, I assume a scout from one team will run one exercise while everybody else watches, and then they'll flip and, and do that. It, it's a gentleman's game out there during those workouts. It's pretty. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool to watch. Uh, I hope Kaepernick does well, though. I hope he does well. I hope he gets back in the league. I hope he does good, and at the end of the year, they have to, somebody has to make a decision for him. That's what I hope happens. Um, I just... There's, this has become quite a hot topic in the world. Everybody's talking about it.
You say it all the time. You don't have to get ready if you stay ready. Hey, so we'll see. Three years he said he's been training for this. We're going to find out. <laughs> It'd be hard when you're signing like $100 million deals with Nike in the face of a commercial that wins an Emmy and you're like changing the world. Like you're training, you're probably like, eh, <laughs> eh. All right, I broke a little sweat. I'm in a good <laughs> spot. They're going to find out on Saturday, dude. He's going to be a running. They're going to want him to puke, I bet. Everybody that doesn't like Colin Kaepernick wants him to fail abysmally on, on Saturday. And then on a complete flip side, they're like, hey, they're screwing over Colin. They're giving him no time to prepare. It's on a Saturday that he's going to have to cancel some business plans. A lot of NFL teams are they're, they're, There's a lot of excuses. And then if he goes out and kills By the way, the excuses are real. These are valid excuses, but there is a lot of excuses. If he goes out and kills it. Woo! This is going to be an interesting situation for the NFL.